I think we should load up the cooler with ice packs. I think we're, uh, I mean, it's a perfect day. We got to just be out there until we load up with fish. We haven't, we haven't done a ton of spear fishing lately. It's been super windy. So I got some rods on the boat too. So if we get too cold diving, we could like snapper fish or potentially like troll a little bit in the deep water right on the edge. High hopes today, huh? Yeah, we got to load up, man. We haven't been meeting our quota of fresh hand-caught Bahamian seafood, and we're running low on our meat we brought from the U.S. Uh, come on, give us some credit. We've eaten seafood almost our no. five nights a week. We have? Almost? Almost. Uh, At least this past week. <laughs> we've done good, but I don't think we've quite hit our mark. So we got to get some more, some more fish. Let's do it. Come on, you kind of doubted my ice packs. Yeah, I did, but you're Aren't right. Aren't they amazing? Yeah, definitely work, worked well, you know, has been working well. Are any of these cut up already? I, I cut them all up. I found three little Yeti. And We've been saving some like some of our fish carcasses after we fillet it for potentially just some like chum maybe. Um, so we'll see how it works. I guess Michael was catching some mutton snapper. We had this hanging off the boat and he was getting some mutton snapper, which we're potentially back in the, the chum trail. It's like a good patch of reef. We're on the ocean side here. It gets really deep, like right over there, probably 50 or 50 yards, 100 yards. And this area is kind of known for being very sharky. So we just gotta be careful. If we get a fish, we just immediately, we get him to the surface, keep him out of the water, get him onto the dinghy, probably just switch spots right away. The biggest risk with sharks is just when you shoot a fish and now you got a bloody wounded fish, that's when they really are attracted to you not necessarily too much uh, without that. sharks or anything so yeah watch that tip all right 
Oh yeah, beautiful, perfect codfish. Yeah. Can you hold this open when you get up here? Good job. Nice. Slip tip didn't even come off. Sierra got us dinner, and we're at spot number two. Water looks pretty murky for being so calm, but it's either because it's been so rough for so long, everything's still churned up, sediment in the water, or it's outgoing tide and the, the silty water is coming off the bank and kind of just all in this area on the ocean. Still fish. Got a meaty, meaty little line fish. So if you guys don't know, we see them all the time. They're an invasive species. They're really bad for the native uh, animals here. So we really try to shoot them whenever we see them, but it's such a balance because a lot of times, like the last time we were diving, they were all really small. You could shoot them just to kill them, but now you're like kind of putting shark, shark bait in the water, attracting sharks for no reason. You didn't even get your fish for dinner. Because if they're too small, it's just there's no meat on them to bring them back. But this guy's a nice little meaty one, so I figured it's worth it to, to kill him. And these slip tips are awesome uh, for lionfish because you just take the tip off and then you can just slide them right through. Like this. And he's off your tip now. Shark you've ever seen. Whereas, you think we could find him with the dinghy? Do you think that was a great white? I don't know, he had a white belly. His Just... belly was so white and I didn't see any stripes. And his face was kind of pointed. I didn't really see his face. I just saw his body and his belly. We just saw a massive shark down there. Biggest shark I've ever seen. Like just lurking. Not aggressive, just lurking right on the outside of us. <laughs> wow, that was spooky. Should we go fish now? <laughs> <laughs> How do you find all those lobster? Do you think that was a great white? What it was else? either a great white or a tiger shark. Tiger sharks have that white of the belly? Yeah. It was big. And if we're shallow. I feel like it was thicker than a tiger. I know, that's why I'm like, that was a freaking great white in 10 feet of water. Could it be one of those, um, what are the rare ones that are off of Cat Island? Oceanic no. white tip? No way. Those are like sleek and skinny. I kind of freaked out. Did you? Um. Did you see it before I told you? No. No. It was wild. Right. I think we just saw our first great white. Let's either change spots or go fish. You wanna go on the inside? <laughs> I'm mind blown. Was your camera on? No. It, it, that probably either memory card or battery a while ago. Okay, unidentified. 
identified. Uncertain. I mean, it wouldn't be. A, it would be totally possible for a great white to be here, right? Yeah. I'm just so shocked because we're so shallow. Well, deep water, right there. Uh, I just had a little mini heart attack, <laughs> especially more because you were just swimming by yourself for 15 minutes and I was yeah. trying to get that lobster off. He was probably just hanging out, like just in the shadows of me watching. <laughs> you think we could find him or not really? All right, I think we decided that's a sign we'll be done for diving for the day. Sierra loaded, loaded us up. She got a nice little hogfish and a bunch of lobster, and I shot a measly old lionfish. So we're gonna we're gonna eat good. We're gonna see if we get some more fish down here. We're gonna use conch for bait. We've been saving all our conch scraps uh, for bait, which are really good bait here in the Bahamas. And uh, see if we get some snappers or grouper even or whatever. Too small? Yeah. Well, there's a lane snapper for you. That one? Big one? Yeah, baby. Ooh, you got a good one. What is it? What do you think it is? The great white shark coming back to get me. Come on, baby, big mutton. That's a nice one, whatever that is. Fat triggerfish? Yeah, it's probably fat triggerfish. It looks like how I was fighting the other triggerfish the other day. Whoa. Oh yeah, Nassau. Oh, man. Dang man. Big Nassau. So Nassau's are out of season right now, unfortunately. Oh he went under my line to see if you could pull pull wow, the line around. Nice one. Yeah, that's a good Nassau. You want the pliers? Yeah. Dang. Bye-bye. Oh, no. huh. That was cool! That was a nice one. Dang! <laughs> Too bad it wasn't a black or a dag or something. Yeah, but that was fun. Oh yeah! Sierra's catching everything today. Dang, what'd you get now? Come on, be a yellow tail. Big yellow tail. Nice! Right? No. Or a grunt. Porgy? That looks like a porgy. Like if I had to guess what a porgy is. Yeah. Right? Do you want to keep him? Yeah, let's try him. Okay, well then you have to eat him tonight. Okay. You sure you want to keep him? Uh, I don't know. Nah. <laughs> another grunt? Yeah. Sierra just had another big bite. Was it a big one? Uh, about bigger than the last one. Alright, here's my turn. I just got rebaited. I turn to catch a big keeper. Oh, there we go. Just got a bite. You get a bite? I've been letting it. I've been letting him eat for five minutes. Come on, be something good. Okay, 
Alright, we might need to change spots. Alright. We're at spot number two. Bring us some dinner. I need some water. There we go. Come on. There we go. Finally hooked one. Come on. I don't think it's that big. And did I lose it? Nope, it's still there. Just not that big. What? Come on. Big old yellow tail that doesn't feel that big. Lane? Is that a big lane? Or a grunt? Are you sure that's not a lane? I don't know. Yeah, I think you're right. I think it's a grunt. Just a grunt. Here we go. There we go. Finally. Bring it in, big fish. Could be a edible sized fish. Maybe not. I mean, if I still have it, I don't think I do. Oh, yeah, I guess I do. Come on, no doubt. Ooh, yellowtail? Oh, mutton. Lane, big lane. I just say fish names until I guess it right. Yeah, that's a nice lane snapper. Yeah, generally they're a little bit smaller. It's, it's a nice little lane. Hey, what do you think? Pretty. I don't know how big they get. Oh, it might be on here. That was almost our sign. Alright, spot number three. We're just out in the ocean a little bit more, but still protected by some shallow water and rock over there. And Sierra got hooked up. Yeah. Come on, good one. Oh, trigger fish. Another one. Oop, I got a bite too. Yeah. Nice. Uh, grunt. Dang. Come on, big fish. I think I'm on a rock or he went in a hole with it. Whoa, shark right. Uh, jacks right behind the boat. Or or big yellowtail, but I think they're jacks. Come on, big yellowtail. Are those are those the yellow jacks that EJ was talking about yesterday? Yeah. They might be big yellowtail. I don't see anything. Right there. Get that hook in. Come on. Throw it, throw it like right over there. Was he saying the yellow jacks were good? Yeah, he was saying yellow jacks are really good. He brought it in the hole and then swam back out. Okay guys, it's been a long day. We we're just on our way back. We just ran out of bait. We're making our way back to Jetty and the boat and we passed the island filled with coconut palms. I can't tell yet if there's any coconuts on them, but I could go for some coconut pie right about now. Ooh, I see some. I can say I got 
Yeah. This kid's cheating driving this one here. <laughs> oh, there's, there's one on the other side. These are like the world's shortest coconut palms. Green and the other one. Yeah, but... Willie always told me green. Who? Willie, green coconut. You think they'll have good meat for pie? I don't know. Oh, that one I hear water in. I don't know. Small that little baby conch is. It has a little t tiny in there. It's low tide. I'm trying to get back to the boat. But the sand, the sandbar here is lower than it was before, so gotta walk. Gotta walk the dinghy, it's too shallow. There's a bigger one. There's a nice one. Keeper. We got stuck for a reason. <laughs> mush, mush. What do you want to uh, do first? Take her. <laughs> Yahoo! <laughs> <laughs> go get him, go get him, go get him, go get him! <laughs> How did we do for the day? <laughs> we did really good. What do we, we got? We got three really nice lobster all around this size, so good size. Here, hold them up. Look at that sunset right behind it. We got a conch, we got coconuts, we got a hogfish, a lionfish, a triggerfish, and a snapper. <laughs> Just a full uh, smorgasbord. Yeah, we got a full selection of anything you can imagine. That sunset, oh my goodness. Wow. We're in our own little bay in this area. We got this own little, our own little beach over there. And this is where a bunch of the other boats are. There's like, I don't know, what, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 or 12 boats over there. And we're just kind of off to ourselves. I think the only thing we're having tonight is lobster heads. Why? Cause there's a lot yeah. of lobster heads. Yeah. <laughs> Are they all gonna fit in the pot though? No, you might need two pots. All right, we got a lot going on, you guys. Sierra <laughs> so just cleaned like all the the lobster and fish, and I got the lobster heads on the grill. We're gonna have all these lobster heads. These guys are massive. Like my hand compared to them. Anyway, we're gonna have some lobster heads for uh, for dinner, along with some leftover conch curry that we made last night with our friends. And we're also gonna do our very first fish print, which there's a word for it in Japanese, and I just forget. 
it'll be in the lower left hand corner when you watch this video japanese fishermen used to use this technique to kind of document their catch document what kind of fish they got offshore instead of taking a picture way back in the day they would take a fish print and then when they got back to shore they kind of had documentation of what what fish it was so now a lot of people are doing it as like artwork and but we're gonna try our hand at it and uh do a little fish print of this nice hogfish we got sierra got we got so i know one of the first things we need to do we have it we had it on ice packs all day so it's pretty cold we just want to make sure it's super super dry it's like one of the key things trying to let that absorb all the liquid moisture oh we should have pinned this we can still pin it Put down the exact same time, like as stretched out as possible. Okay. You can kind of move the paper around more than you know. Not move it around, but push it down into the cracks and around the edge of the fish and stuff. Like the one I saw, she was really manipulating the paper pretty good. Well, that looks cool already. Whoa. <laughs> oh, it looks pretty cool. Look Turn it around. Ripped. What? How do we make it not rip? Just uh, probably slightly less ink because see how like on that one there's a lot of thick areas and blotches, so you could probably just use less ink. But that looks so freaking cool. Doesn't that look sick? Sierra just pulled off number two, and uh, print number two we did on, you did. Like a, it's like a canvas, right? A cotton canvas. Instead of rice paper. Maybe it's a linen. I can't remember. It looks so good, though. That's super cool. Shall I do more? Yeah. Okay, so we need number three, be, coming up. We need to be closer to your side, so it's like even on the thing. All right. It's gonna be a good one, I think. Nice, that looks yeah, so know. good. <laughs> oh, that looks cool. Are they getting better or worse? <laughs> better. That looks so cool. So one of the favorite, one of my favorite things that we've been doing lately is literally using every, and we always try to, but literally using every single piece of whatever we catch. So like the conch, I saved all the guts for bait and all the fish we caught today, we saved all of like the body and skeleton as chum. And then we just put it all in the freezer and then we use it like tomorrow to go catch more. So we're using everything we got here. You ready to eat some lobster heads? Yeah, I'm tired. You're gonna be starving. <laughs> I'm tired. Me too. I'm exhausted, but now I'm clean, and this is so good. What you got over there? Conk curry. And three massive lobster heads. I hope you're hungry. <laughs> Are you happy with your fish prints? Yeah, they actually look really good. I'm excited. I'm excited to give them to all of our friends. <laughs> All right, people, we're freaking tired and hungry. You've seen us eat lobster head a few times before. <laughs> um, but if you guys haven't already, check out the Tula shop. We still got a bunch of hooded UPF shirts in stock. Super comfortable, great for the sun, great not in the sun also. And maybe by the time this comes out, we'll have a special shirt with that print on it. Yeah, we're we're... We're coming up with another another design on it. So check out the tool shop. It's always in the description and it really helps support us making these videos. And we and thank you guys for it. And you get something cool. Yeah, you guys get something, a little cool sou souvenir. Maybe there might be one of these shirts with the one I know who's over. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys.